Hey there, I'm Alan Matthews from Classical Guitar Shed and in this video you will get a wonderful left hand exercise for getting started on the classical guitar. If you're just getting started, this is a wonderful first exercise to get your left hand figuring out where to play, how to move around the guitar, and just get your fingers to learn this beautiful instrument. If you enjoy this, please do subscribe to this channel and we'll do it again sometime. Great, so this exercise that you're about to learn is for the left hand. That means we need to do as little with the right hand as possible. We just need to use as little brain power for the right hand as possible. So let's just talk about it first. We'll be going through the different strings. So we'll be playing different strings. Don't worry about which finger to play it. Just use your thumb. You can just drag your thumb from one note to the next. You can drag another finger down like this. You can play it all with one finger. There's no wrong way to play this with the right hand. So the main thing is with whatever you do with the right hand is fine. The key is to just not think about it so much. So with that said, let's get started. So where do you actually start on this entire neck? The, the truth is it doesn't matter, right? So for any kind of exercises, it's going to be easier further up on the neck because the frets are closer together. That's the, the nickel bars that are stopping the string that go across like this. Those are going to be closer together up here. So it might be easier up here. I'm gonna do it down here just for kicks. One of the things that you can do, don't worry about getting big stretches or anything like that. We're gonna start with the index and middle fingers on two frets, and it doesn't matter which two. I'm using the second and third here. But the other fingers can just float behind. They're not gonna tuck like this or do anything crazy. You just wanna keep your hand in a nice C shape and then just play that first finger on a note. I'm just playing this one right here. So play that note. And whenever you play a note, play it right behind the fret. Not back here, or else it's gonna buzz. Right with the tip of your finger, right behind the fret. Not right on top of it, because it's gonna make it sound kind of thuddy, uh, but right behind it. And then play the next finger above it. And that is above, meaning down, down towards the floor. The third fret. So just do that a couple of times to get situated. Then we're just going to go through and do that on each string. And ideally, keep a nice steady rhythm, and it might be slower than this, and that's fine. Now as you get to the top, make sure you don't keep this part of your hand so that where you're really scrunched in like this. Let there be some space in your hand. The guitar's not going to go anywhere, it won't fly off into space or anything like that. So just play these notes and then come back. The finger numbers are one, two, three, four. So then this pattern I'm showing you right now is one, two. One, two, one, two. Just going through each of the strings up and back down. Oops. There we go. Now once you've done that, you can go to two and three. Now you might notice that it's a little bit more difficult to get the stretch between those frets or between those fingers. And if you do, then you can just go up to a higher position if you'd like. Then just go back. And if you play a wrong note with your right hand, just keep going. It doesn't matter. And then three and four. And we're just shooting for accurate placement on the string with the tip of your finger. That's all you're doing. You can also go down the other way. So you can go two, one, two, one, two, one. Or go up, one, two. And then come back down, two, one. Now once you've done these finger pairs, one and two, two and three, three and four, you can also do one and three, two and four, and one and four, those are your other options. So one and three. two and four, and back, and then one and four, and back down. So those are your finger pairs, playing each of those pairs of notes on one string and then going to the next string and then moving between them. Now, this might seem like, it, it is simple in conception, 
but it's amazing what this will do for your fingers in terms of training the accuracy and consistency and noticing your hand position. If it gets all wonky, I mean, it should be about the same on your low string as it is on your high string. As opposed to it being here and then like this up here or something like that. So we don't want to do this. So anything crazy, we want to pretty much just keep that nice C shape and just move it across the strings like that. You're here and it moves down. And that is, you could call it finger walking if you would like to. Um, the next iteration of that you could do is to play just one note per string. And it's just a little bit tougher because then you have to just think more. So now you're playing one finger on one string, the next finger on the next string and back. A little zigzag right across the strings. And just doing it that way. Now what you might find is that one particular pair of fingers, hint is probably the three and the four, um, might be more difficult than the others. If that's the case, if you notice that, then start with that one first and then do it again at the end. And that'll just give you double the amount of practice with a little split in, in between. So start with whatever your toughest one is, or start with that little finger, and then go to the one and two finger and then down. So I hope you've enjoyed this. This is just a nice classical guitar exercise for beginners. And so if that's you, then this is a perfect exercise for you. Have fun and please subscribe to this channel and best of luck to you. Bye-bye.